Hi, I'm Travis with Traverse Music. Here I'm gonna show you some great tips on how to get rid of some sharp fret ends on guitars. Many of you might experience sharp fret ends on some lower end new guitars or a guitar that's been sitting around for a long time. You just pulled it out and wanna start playing again and you run your finger up and down the fretboard and you feel like there's something sharp. Um, some of you might also be buying a new neck new to your guitar um, and the fret ends were never dressed on that neck something like that so what i'm trying to show you here today is how to dress these properly so that they're nice and smooth and round we're also going to show you how to roll the edge of the fretboard that's a super important part of this step too um, and today i'm using a brand new neck that was just built for a guitar for my friend sean Hurwitz. Um, some of the carving is still not done with the guitar on the headstock, so keep that in mind. This is far from a finished product, but um, it's perfect because I've put the fret on the fretboard now. I've cut the edges off. We got the beveled edge that we need. So this is sitting here ready for the remaining fretwork. So we're gonna need a few items today. First item is a fret file or a fret end file to be specific. This has a rounded edge on one side and a flat edge on the other. The purpose of the flat and the round edges is so that we don't scratch the fretboard when we're using the file. We only want the file portion on the frets themselves. So fret end file, you can get these in a lot of different places. Uh, again, Stumac is my favorite. All Parts also has a great one that I've used a lot. We have fret erasers. These specific ones are from Crimson Guitars. That's a company over in the UK. They make some really, really, really cool builds. They have a fantastic YouTube channel. Uh, highly recommend checking them out. Um, here are some Stumac fret erasers. We can use those. Some of you might prefer to use sandpaper for your fret end file. Here's an example of what you can get for that. I'm not a huge fan, but I figured I'd show you guys what that was anyway. This is a piece of micro mesh. You can see it's been used quite a bit. Um, it's very, very black, and that's because I only use it for fret ends. So this is one that's been used a lot. I'll keep using it until it starts breaking up or not working anymore. Um, but this is a piece of micro mesh. I think it's about 12,000. So the grid's 12,000. That's pretty, pretty darn light. Um, I had to bring out this Stumac fret file, and this is super important if you still need to get your beveled edge on the end of your frets. Now, like I said, this one's set to go. It's got the angle that I want it at, but if you needed more, this is the file that I specifically use. I hold it at an angle about here, and I run my hand across and get that fret angle that I want. This is a fantastic tool, highly recommend this for anybody that's doing extensive fret work. Last few things, I keep a brush around just because I'm constantly brushing stuff off to see my work. I have some 220 grit sandpaper and I have some 400 grit sandpaper. Lastly, you might need some tape. This guitar, we don't need to tape off because there's no body attached to the end of it. But if this was on a body, we don't need to take the neck off to perform this. We would just tape up the areas of the guitar that we might accidentally touch with our fret and file or anything else so that we're not scratching any finish work. So tape is fantastic. Um, highly recommend it. Even just your everyday masking tape will work just fine for that. So today we're gonna focus on the first three frets of this fretboard, um, specifically for the fret end stuff. But what I'm about to do in this first step, I'm gonna apply to the entire length of the fretboard just so I don't have to redo it later. Um, but our specific fret work is gonna be those first three frets. So what I'm gonna do here is I got my 220 sandpaper. This is how I do this. There is no like correct only way to do it. Um, I love using sandpaper as a tool and I tend to wrap sandpaper on my fingers all the time um, and I tend to do a lot of stuff with that. So the first thing that I want us all to notice is the fact that we have a nice clean cut on our frets here. And then we have a nice angle. If you were to feel that, you would feel that angle. That doesn't feel great. It feels like a brand new guitar, but we want it to feel like it's been played, even though it's gonna be brand new. So we're gonna roll these edges, and we're gonna do that with this sandpaper right here. And the reason why we can do this before I put a finish on the guitar is because we're not gonna lacquer the sides of the fretboard or the fretboard itself. This is all rosewood. We're just gonna oil it. There's no need for any finish work on it. So when we sand this, it's not a big deal whatsoever. We're gonna look for and feel for this edge being rolled over and then these frets being a little bit cleaner. So let's get started on this. 
you can see I, I didn't wrap it all the way around this time, but I just have it curved with my finger and my finger's gonna be the thing that applies pressure. It's not gonna be a ton of pressure. I've worn out that. I'm just gonna flip it over, use the other side. comes in handy here. Now, you should be able to feel a little bit softer edge now. We don't have that hard edge on this fretboard anymore. We haven't rolled it as much as we want quite yet, but it definitely feels different than the other side. This side, you can feel that sharp edge. This side, we have it rolled now. It feels way more comfortable. So now comes the part where we start working on the frets. Again, we're gonna focus on these three frets here. We're gonna show you a pretty close view and then we're gonna show you a really close view. So first thing I'm gonna do, take my fret end file. I'm taking the flat end and putting it down on the fretboard. And my goal is to nick off that tiny little edge. didn't do a lot of damage there. You can see there's not much taken off the edges. So when that is done, we're going to flip it over to the round edge. And now we're going to, we're not going to round over the whole side. You don't want a big point. You still want it to be a full fret, but we are going to roll it ever so slightly and just take off just a tiny bit. haven't done anything, right? That takes off so much more material than you realize. And the people that overdo that, you end up really being able to drag the string off the end of the fret so much easier. That is all you need. It seems like it's not a lot, but I promise you it's a ton. I'm gonna use my Crimson Fret Erasers for this one. And I'm just gonna focus on this portion for now, because these are the first three frets we did. And we're just gonna start working on this. Now we're using our Fret Eraser. So I'm just gonna put this right on the side and I'm gonna run this right across everything right here. All right. Now what I'm looking for is to make sure all my scratches from my file have been taken off with this. This ends up being about a 220 grit, which is what we started with with sandpaper. So if you wanted to use sandpaper instead of this Freddy Racer, you certainly can. But as you can tell, most of the scratches are gone, but we do still have some. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 400 grit that I had, break off a little piece, turn it into a tool. And I'm focusing more on the frets now to make sure all those scratches are completely gone. Now remember when we said we didn't want to roll the fretboard over too much? And that's because right now we're taking more fretboard material off and now that fretboard's starting to feel amazing because we're taking off a little bit every single time we do that. We have our marks gone from that. Now we're just gonna step up with the Freddy Racers. We're gonna go medium, fine, super fine. Fine. 
Super fine. So that was our super fine. I'm gonna brush it off real quick. You can see how nice and polished that edge is. Now we're gonna take that micro mesh. We're gonna go like this and I focus on those frets. All right. Now we have these beautiful, smooth, zero sharp edge frets with a nice rolled fretboard. It's as simple as that.